These are some small bins. Uh, there's not enough time to go through this stuff. I'm gonna say this a few times here uh, soon. Uh, this is all Taco Bell toys, McDonald's toys. This is all Star Wars. Um, this bin is all three inch accessories, Kenner three inch accessories, uh, cycle bike, you know, uh, all, that's all Kenner three inch Star Wars stuff. And what is this? This is all Kenner three inch Star Wars accessories, medallions, stand plates, um, weapons, other accessories. This one is, uh, this is all Taco Bell toys and Pez dispensers. Lots and lots of Star Wars Pez dispensers, small keychains, more Taco Bell toys, uh, yo-yos, uh, little micro, figure, micro, micro figures, more Pez dispensers. <sighs> okay, that's about, that's enough of that. Okay, uh, this is not a digital drum kit. This is actually puzzles um, on boxes. This is a Lucky Charms uh, Batman mask. I don't know why I kept that. Um, I mean, I, I don't really collect Batman stuff. That's cool, but um, I don't know if I got space for cereal boxes sometimes. Uh, Pink Floyd puzzle, thousand piece Pink Floyd album covers puzzle. That's so sweet. Uh, what else we got in here? Uh, there's a Pink Floyd puzzle, the chair. Uh, that is a groovy, groovy puzzle. And what do we got here? Oh, ACDC history of puzzle. A lot of cool stuff there, album covers. Um, I love the, dig the, the groovy rock and roll puzzles. Okay, and keep in mind we're changing t-shirts for every bin. This is a Star Paris. This is um, Arts de Paris, episode one. This was an exhibit in Paris. Uh, I didn't get to go to the exhibit, but I did get the, the t-shirt. Um, this bin is all Marvel stuff. Uh, to be perfectly honest, um, I have just way too much stuff to really display and look at everything. There's absolutely no way that we can go through and look at every item. It's just not possible. Oh man. Uh, this bin is all Marvel stuff. Uh, it's all basically contemporary Marvel Universe. Um, you know, a lot of Captain America stuff from the Captain America movie, the Avengers movie. Uh, this is a cool, um, this is probably one of the few vintage items in the, in the bin. Uh, the Electric Company Spider, Spidey Stories album, and this is actually Morgan Freeman playing Spider-Man on those. Um, but there's just, there's, there's way too much stuff in these bins to go through. Uh, you know, bobbleheads, 12 inch figures, uh, 90s Toy Biz figures, uh, you know, Captain America vehicle, all kinds of Spider-Man figures. Um, um, it's just, this thing is absolutely full of Marvel stuff. So um, <laughs> let's just leave it at that for right now. Okay, this next bin is another one of those bins that are so full of stuff that, that we just don't have time to look at everything in the bin. Uh, this is all KISS. Um, this is mostly contemporary, everything from the KISS puzzles, albums, KISS potato heads, uh, CDs, um, action figures, uh, uh, some of the solo albums are in there. Um, uh, there's some other small toys. Uh, these items were in there, and I'm not going to wear these t-shirts. I just wanted to show these. This is a Gene Simmons, uh, this is a remix of Calling Dr. Love that some house company music uh, company did. Uh, this is a, a t-shirt from the remix of um, Calling Dr. Love that some house music company uh, remixed or recut. Uh, and this is a promotional t-shirt from that. Uh, that's pretty cool. Got that for three bucks at a, at a yard sale of all places. Uh, this is um, a Kiss tour shirt from when they came through Charlotte last year and I got to meet them. Uh, and this is the official shirt from the tour. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, there's, there's so much cool stuff in here. I'd love to be able to talk about everything, but uh, you can't talk about everything. Um, but these figures are just awesome, 
awesome figures. I just got these last year. Uh, and these are just beautiful recreations of the 70s Migos. Uh, they are really, really close to the original Migos. Um, and they're just, I mean, awesome packaging. Uh, they're a little more expensive than I thought they should have been, but I, 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 I'm really glad to have these. And these are awesome, awesome figures. Okay, uh, the next bin is, uh, this is all Star Wars stuff. Once again, this bin is absolutely full of three inch um, Kenner uh, do bags, tauntauns, ATSTs, snow speeders. Uh, there's a TIE fighter. Uh, there's some ad at. There's a little uh, walking wind up ad at. Uh, the Wampa. Oh gosh, what else is in here? Uh, there's a big G.I. Joe uh, 30 millimeter anti aircraft gun that's huge um, and it's actually in pieces in here. Um, it's taken apart, um, but it's just, there's no way we can look at all of this stuff. But as you can see, there's a pretty full bin. There's a couple of pieces that have been taken out that we showed earlier. Um, and this actually uh, should be in there. This is the Y-Wing and I have the, the extenders from this and even have the Y-Wing pilot and the uh, correct droid to go in there, which I think is a R5-D4. Um, and that actually should, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Boom. Uh, this is all Hulk stuff. This is almost all contemporary. There are a couple of small vintage pieces in here, but this is almost all from the last uh, five to seven years. And there's everything in here, Marvel Universe figures, uh, the Mighty Mug, the Pop Mug, um, the, uh, so the kind of Fisher Price looking uh, toys. Um, the giant Hulk Pez dispensers in there. This whole section down here is all uh, Hulk um, three and five inch action figures, uh, Hasbro, Toy Biz, etc. Piggy Bank, there's a mask, there's some of the Dr. Pepper cans from the Avenger movies. Some of the accessories from the larger um, Hulk figures are in there. The mini Marvel mugs from the Avengers movie. The Incredible Hulk Toy Biz uh, from the uh, 90s. Um, the Incredible Hulk Panda Bear, Incredible Hulk Keychain, uh, kids' Halloween costume, uh, cups, glasses, there's some balls, there's an Avengers ball, uh, the um, uh, rubber bendy Hulk, uh, the Hulk poster. I mean, this thing is just, this right here is uh, just an awesome piece of Hulkness. And, uh, I don't even think we need to pull all this stuff out. Okay, this next bin is a, I mean, this is a big bin and it's absolutely chock stoked full of uh, Iron Man, classic Iron Man and the thing. Uh, we've set up a couple of the items from, uh, in here. It's predominantly contemporary. Um, there's a couple of vintage items in there, but it's mostly contemporary. Marvel Universe, Bobbleheads, uh, Mighty Mugs, Iron Man Transformer. Uh, what do we got? All kinds of three inch action figures, some Toy Biz, some Marvel Universe. Uh, Iron Man boxer shorts, Iron Man underwear, Iron Man sweatpants, um, the Thing uh, video game, uh, uh, Mini Mates Thing, Mini Mates Iron Man. Uh, all different just it's it's all Iron Man and thing and it's all classic Iron Man and thing um, Toy Biz uh, Marvel Legends Toy Biz Bobblehead here's a couple of Iron Man DVDs the um, uh, figure from Iron Man 2 uh, comic series uh, this is um, I don't know who this is I think it's I think it's Toy Biz uh, but, uh, you know, I'd love to bring out this whole bin and display all this Iron Man and Thing stuff because set up and display, they're just, it's really, really cool, but you just don't have time to do that. And uh, you guys don't have time to look at it. I don't have time to set it up. Uh, so, yeah, Iron Man, Thing, feel it. Okay, uh, here's just a couple of miscellaneous items. Uh, Iron Man mini statue. Uh, the uh, Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Galaga uh, video game. 
this is from the, the Ivory Bastards film that, uh, that I was in as Fangirl Electrico. And this is a genuine uh, custom made, uh, custom ordered uh, Mexican wrestler mask. This isn't a cheap copy, this is actually the real thing. That was made by um, a company in Mexico. Um, and that's, that's just a really cool item. Uh, world wrestling belt for the character, some Ivory Bastard cards that I made, um, Ivory Bastard movies, you know, just different memorabilia from that film just to kind of keep it uh, for, you know, my own ego, I suppose. Uh, but that Mexican, the, the Fango Electrico mask is like really, really cool that it's a real Mexican wrestling mask. Um, and this bin is a small bin and it's all baseball cards. We looked at some others earlier. I mean, like, you know, just got Mark McGuire, Rocky Marciano, Roberto Clemente, Yogi Berra, Bo Jackson, James Worthy, Barry Bonds. There's a, I mean, I've got some Mickey Mantles in here. There's Ho Jose Canseco. Um, there's some garbage pail kids. Uh, uh, Cal Ripken Jr. Um, just a lot of you know different stuff, but mainly mainly ball cards. There's some Strangers in Paradise collectors cards, and that's a whole set. Uh, that's the whole set of the Strangers in Paradise, if you know what that is. Um, Jack Dempsey. Here's some boxing cards. Uh, these are all classic Sugar Ray Leonard, um, and some baseball cards mixed in with that. But those are all these are all pretty notable names on all of these cards. And this bin is actually usually all the way full, but we pulled some out the other day and they need to go back in here. Um, so that's it for this. Um, let's check next thing out. Okay, this bin is uh, all 12 inch figures, mostly Star Wars, not all Star Wars, but uh, mostly 12 inch figures and some other stuff. Boba Fett backpack, uh, uh, lightsabers, uh, the Darth Vader one. This is the really the cool one. I don't think it has batteries. Ooh. Oh. Anyways. Um. Pencil cases. Uh, mostly 12-inch figures, but some really cool 12-inch figures, man. Yep. There he is. Uh, Planet of the Apes. Uh. That's from the 90s, but man, that's a cool figure. Uh, here's a 12 inch R5D4. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, a custom ghost face. I actually made this, believe it or not, I destroyed a 12 inch uh, Emperor from Star Wars to make him, but uh, I didn't like the figure. It was kind of crappy. So I thought that I'd just make something else out of it. Uh, here's a 12 inch Boba Fett. Uh, these are all contemporary figures. These aren't vintage. Uh, Geiger's, Geiger's Alien. Also a very, very cool, cool figure. He's going to fall. Uh, here's another uh, Universal Monsters. There's the Frankenstein. Oh, this is an awesome, cool figure. The 12-inch uh, Zuckus is, uh, man, that is just such a brilliant 12-inch figure. Uh, oh, we got Vader. Oh, boy. Um, uh, some of these, oh, here's, here's, this is actually, this is the vintage Chewbacca from Kenner. This is 1977, 78, 79. Uh, that's a... Groovy, groovy figure, not contemporary. Uh, and uh, mostly Star Wars figures, uh, but all 12 inch figures. Uh, here's a pretty cool one, a 12 inch Tusken Raider. And of course I have all of their accessory uh, in the box in these you know, plastic bags. I have all their stuff. Um, but the rest of this bin is just full of this stuff. I mean, just 12 inch figure after 12 inch figure. Most of them Star Wars and most of them contemporary. Uh, blaster. Uh, oh, Star Trek phaser. Uh, this is cool. This is the original Kenner 
1978, 79 Boba Fett. Uh, he's got some problems and he's not complete. He's not in great shape, but you know, 12 inch R2D2. Uh, and uh, I guess that's all we have room to pull out of this bin, but uh, trust me, it's action packed full Yoda. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, so, okay. So let's move on to the next bin. Okay, uh, next bin, uh, this is all some box stuff, uh, kind of some fun, weird stuff here. Uh, Tron, this was reduced, a shelf warmer, uh, Tron movie toys uh, from uh, 2011, but uh, I liked it, man. I thought some of these, you know, were really cool figures. Holographic face, you know. Um, oh wow, here's some more boxed G.I. Joe uh, vintage reproductions, and that's a really nice one, man. Check that guy out. That's, that's really a cool figure, you know. Uh, wow, well, some more boxed reproduction Joes, Action Sailor, and there's another one. Let's see, is this the same guy? Same guy, uh, blonde, but he's blonde action sailor dude okay uh don't tell your mom and don't tell my friends but uh i have the uh complete spice girls 12 inch collection yes i know uh after i saw toy story i, I started thinking that my uh, gi joes might start getting lonely for some some lady friends uh so i got these and managed to keep them. And I mean, it's kind of like having a Michael Jackson doll or a Gerardo doll or a, a Corey Feldman doll. It's just something, you know. Um, but uh, got the whole, the whole band. Sporty, Porsche, Baby, Ginger, Scary. Um, uh, some other cool stuff in here. Big Boy from Shoney's, you know, for us in the South. That's kind of cool. There's a, some other miscellaneous stuff in here. McDonald's toys, mini slinky, a barista uh, figure, um, Mr. Potato Head. So what we have here is uh, one, of my, one of my favorite pieces because of its weirdness. This is a Pinocchio doll. I got this in a consignment store. Uh, I think the guy gave it to me because I bought a couple of Ninja Turtles. Uh, and the guy just said I could have it. Um, and I thought it was weird. I thought, oh, it's Disney. You know, it might be collectible. Who knows, it might be valuable if it's an official Disney, you know, toy. Uh, but I thought it was interesting and weird. So, um, so I said, yeah, throw it in my bag, thanks. Uh, so a little later, uh, maybe a couple of days later, it was sitting in the corner of the room. And I, I noticed something strange about him. I, I, I noticed that kind of he looked like he had a little something going on down there. Um, and I thought that was kind of odd. And I, I walked over and I looked at him and I thought, well, geez, it totally looks like he's got a little something going on down there in his little uh, Pinocchio shorts. And, um, you know, uh, I'm an artist, so I guess I had to find out, you know, or <laughs> I don't know. I had to, you know, okay, so I, I looked in his shorts to see what that was. And, um, Wow, this is a anatomically correct Pinocchio doll. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube and the kids are in the room, send the kids out of the room because we're about to get graphic here. Um, I've never seen a toy like this. I kept it because um, I don't have many toys that actually have penises. And there, I just told you what we're about to see, but I figured it's best to warn you. But this. Pinocchio is anatomically correct. <laughs> Look at that. Is that not, is that, that's not the craziest thing you ever saw? He's got a belly button. He's even, excuse me, he's even got a little pee hole. And <laughs> this is just one of the weirdest, weirdest freaking toys I've ever seen. Um, a part of me thinks and hopes that this wasn't um, some toy that therapists maybe would use to um, 
analyze uh, what might have happened to a child. You know, little Timmy, point to the spot where, you know, dirt old, dirty Uncle Jimmy touched you or some crap like that. Um, and then they use this doll. Uh, I hope it's not that, but whatever it is, this is one of the strangest toys I've ever seen. And I just, uh, I don't have the heart to sell it, but it's funny because no one's ever offered to buy it. <laughs> There you have it. Um, so uh, I guess we should move on to the next bin, okay? Okay, uh, this is uh, Star Wars books. This is all from one small bin here. Uh, it's basically full. Uh, these are all Star Wars novels and different Star Wars books. Uh, some of the notable ones, uh, Han Solo at Star's End, Han Solo and the Lost Legacy. These are actually the old... Um, some of the original printings. First time in print for this one. Um, uh, this is really cool. This is the very first edition of uh, Star Wars in paperback. Um, this one, I think, one of these actually came out before the film was released. And I think it's this one. And this one was released right after the film was released. So this one right here is actually a very notable book. Uh, and a lot of these, you know, from the whole Star Wars galaxy, uh, the Timothy Zahns, the Tales of the Bounty Hunters. Uh, this is another one that's uh, pretty old, and uh, really, all of these are in, in really kind of nice shape. Empire Strikes Back novelization, uh, the making of the Empire Strikes Back, I actually read that. That's a really cool book. Um, some of these covers are really nice, and some of these editions are really nice. This is an older edition. Um, actually, this is, okay, I apologize, those aren't, one of those aren't the ones that came out before the movie came out. This is the one that came out before the film was released. Uh, right now, here it says, soon to be a spectacular motion picture from 20th Century Fox. Uh, so this is, this is the poop right here. That's, that's the one. And uh, we have other uh, Turn of the Jedi pop-up book. This is in really good shape. I'm not going to pull it out, but uh, this is in really good condition. Uh, Star Wars storybook. Um, if I'm not mistaken, these are all these are all. I don't think this is vintage, but the pop-up book is vintage. Uh, this is not vintage. This is from the 90s, but this is a, the catalog inventory book for the 90s. Power of the Force uh, releases, and this is a great book for uh, resourcing and checking to see if you got the right blaster on the right figure. And this is just a beautifully illustrated book. I mean, absolutely, absolutely, totally well done. Um, and uh, Star Wars Galaxy, the art of Star Wars. Uh, this is one of the card series. This is a lot of the art from the card series. Um, but this is a really, really, really nice book um, of a lot of the artwork. Um, you know, the last 10, 15 years. Um, okay, so uh, let's, uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, uh, this is a bin of uh, Betty Page stuff. Um, this is probably most of the Betty Page stuff I have, but it's not all of it. Um, but there's some books, Vava Voom. Uh, this has some, some uh, I don't know where it is, but it has a section in here on Betty. You know, um, why that's in here. Um, Life and Legend of a Pinup. Uh, this is a really, really cool book. Um, and this is also about when they actually refound Betty Page uh, several years before her passing, uh, that she was actually rediscovered and refound and talked to these uh, writers and authors uh, and made this book with them. Uh, Queen of Pinup, you know, it's just a, um, a pretty much a picture book, picture, picture book of Betty Page stuff. And uh, this is a Playboy, uh, and I'm, I don't remember what this is, but if I have it in here, there must be a, Petty, a Betty Page article or a retrospective of some type in this magazine. Um, this is a, uh, uh, this is just an ad, one of those little pr Vegas Prosto ads, but it actually had a picture of Betty Page, so I thought that was interesting. Um, Playboy, this has got a thing on Dida, who, you know, homages Betty Page all the time. 
Uh, that's why that's in there. Uh, this there's a 3D image of Betty Page in this uh, in this magazine. There's a couple of 3D um, swimsuit pics, and there's a Betty Page picture. So that goes in there. Uh, this is an Italian uh, erotic comic book, um, and there's um, a Betty Page uh, photo uh, article in here. Uh, so that's in the Betty Page collection. Real Smut comic book, and there's a little Betty Page story in here, guest starring Miss Betty Page. Uh, so that's in here. Uh, Betty Page in Jungle Land. This is some of the photography with her and the chieftain uh, put together in kind of a, a little balloon talky type of comic strip format. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, and then there's a, ma a copy of Ultra Film Facts that features uh, Betty Page, a painting, I can't remember the painter's name, that does the, the really recognizable Betty Page paintings. Um, what is this? A, a bobblehead. It's a cardboard stand-up. Uh, some DVDs. Here's all the Betty Page documentaries. Girl in the Leopard Print Bikini. The Notorious Betty Page. The film... Um, uh, I can't remember what's the actress's name. Gretchen Mall, yeah, Gretchen Mall that played Betty Page. Um, this is some of uh, Betty Page's um, original Irving Claw films. Uh, Betty Page, Dark Angel. Uh, this is a wow. This was a, a really interesting, um, uh, interesting take on the Betty Page thing. It's not really fiction. It's not really a documentary, but that's a really uh, interesting film. And then this is um, from Pin Up to Sex Queen. This is um, the E! True Hollywood story on Betty Page, which is a really, really, maybe the best documentary about Betty Page. Um, and now this is probably the, uh, oh, here's a Betty Page on a 45, you know, picture there. Um, these actually were given to me by my brother David. And he gives me a lot of Betty Page stuff and Betty Page cards. Um, Betty Page on the cover of uh, uh, My Life with a Thrill Kill Cult, Sex Explosion. That's an awesome album, too. Two copies of that. Um, but sorry, uh, my brother David uh, got these pictures. Um, he was going through a dumpster where they had dumped, uh, this, this old man had passed away and they were just dumping all of his belongings in a dumpster. A lot of old cameras and a lot of old nudie photographs like this. Uh, some of them were Tempest Storm, some other uh, like burlesque vaudeville names that you would recognize. Um, and in there were some Betty Page pictures. At the time, my brother David did not know who Betty Page was, but he recognized her um, from some uh, imagery that he had seen that I had. And he thought that this was might be the, the, the model from some of those pictures that I had. So he grabbed them and he gave them to me. And uh, I have had them ever since. These are some of my favorite, uh, if not my favorite, uh, most profound Betty Page items. These are original photographs. Uh, these are original printings from the negatives. Oh, they were probably printed in the 40s, you know, early 40s, uh, late 40s. Uh, some of these are yellowed a little bit. Some of these cards, I think those are newer cards. But uh, these are just some great original examples of some of Betty Page's uh, photography. Um, and interestingly enough that she's nude in all of them. She's not, she's not costumed. Uh, which is also a little bit significant, you know. Uh, so that's it. Uh, let's move on to the next. Next bin, uh, all DC. All DC toys and a couple of things that aren't toys, but mainly toys. Super Friends DVD, Detective Comics uh, calendar. I mean, some really just awesome, awesome, awesome artwork in this thing, you know, really cool uh, calendar there. Um, so the, what is this? Uh, girls rule, you know, awesome. Uh, right on. Another girls rule bag, you know. 
Uh, and then uh, almost all of the three and a half inch uh, the Green Lantern movie figures, I, I got almost all of them. They were real shelf warmers. They were good figures, but they were overpriced. I think if they gave, gave them a lower price, they would have sold better. But uh, they were overpriced, and you're not gonna you're not gonna pay too much for um, a figure that's not greatly done. But uh, I managed to get a lot of them, and I don't think I paid full price for any of this Green Lantern stuff for the movies. But I actually got some really quite cool Green Lantern figure movie stuff. Um, it's all DC stuff. A lot of different figures. Uh, most of it is contemporary. There's a little bit of vintage, but not much. But a lot of the Green Lantern movie figures. Uh, plushy Green Lantern guy. Um, there's a Joker that's like the Fisher Price kind of toys, superhero squad, I think. Um, there's a Flash, uh, Superman from the. Um, uh, kind of recent movies. I think I got a, like a yard sale at a quarter. Lex Luthor shampoo. Uh, uh, these little cars, the Fisher Price cars, are pretty cool. There's a Wonder Woman. Uh, what else? There's all kinds. Of, oh, this is a pretty cool Green Lantern. Everybody loves Green Lantern, so you know there's a Green Lantern ship, Green Plane. Uh, this is all just, you know, more DC stuff. You know, there's there's um, Superman's dog, Crypto, but lots and lots of uh, Green Lantern movie figures. Uh, some Wonder Woman stuff here and there. There's the Little People Wonder Woman. <laughs> um, so I guess that's pretty much about the gist of this bin. Uh, it's all you know, Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, um, and a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. Oh, this is really cool. Uh, the, um, Wonder Woman Pez, and that's actually, oh, this is actually vintage. I'm not sure, but I think that's, that's late 70s, early 80s. Um, but, uh, I think that does it to illustrate this, Ben. Um, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, uh, this is um, a lot of the glasses and cups. This is most of them out of the cabinet in the kitchen uh, where I stash them. Uh, obviously, the Marvel goblets. Uh, these are all new. These are all contemporary. All of these I've probably gotten in the last year and a half, with the exception of this one, which is actually vintage. This is from 1978, and uh, Shazam, and it's a great, you know, there's no scratches on it, no marks on it. It's just a awesome example of good glass lithography. Uh, the Hulk, you know, uh, these are just really cool glasses, but they're all contemporary. So, um, you know, uh, they're not really valuable, but that's fine, I don't really care. Uh, I'm leaning down because I'm kind of tired. We're, we're kind of beat here, we've been really busting this. Uh, but these are all the guys out of the cabinet up there, so um, you know, let's uh, let's move to the next thing.